Right, good day everyone and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be looking at how you actually fund your MetaMask wallet. So if we look in front of me, you know I have the um, Uniswap interface open. Um, you can see over here I have connected my wallet and remember how we do that from a previous video. So I've got the wallet connected. That's the amount of Ethereum um, that I have in place. But it's not enough for what I need to do. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, Binance and I'm basically going to be moving my Ethereum. I'm going to withdraw it out of Binance and I'm going to be sending it to my MetaMask wallet. Now, if you click on that um, over here, click on the actual wallet and you say view on Etherscan. Remember here we can see everything that is within this wallet. So you can see I've got a little bit of Ether obviously I need more <laughs> and then I've got a number of tokens here um, let me just go down number of tokens here at various values okay so what we need to do now is we need to actually get our wallet address so this over here is the wallet address um, and I can just click on copy and then I'm going to use that when I want to withdraw my Ethereum. Now this could be from Binance or from any um, other exchange and it's going to go in here to the recipient address and I'm going to say it's the ERC20. Now you'll notice you'll see the big difference between um, the Binance smart chain and the Binance chain and the Ethereum um, transaction cost of the gas fees. So you'll see there for transferring that it's going to cost me 232 rand 20 um, and I can say well I'm gonna withdraw the max that's a transaction fee that's how much I'm gonna get and it once everything goes through it's going to come through to this section over here right so now you can see um, I've sent it from Binance that withdrawal has been successful and it's reflected over here um, showing how much Ethereum I have if I go into my ether scan you can also see that, that amount has changed from the three dollars okay so let's go and have a look and there's the contract address okay remember we are now dealing um, with a different way of doing these things now so we're gonna go click to get that smart contract address and now when we go to Uniswap we're gonna say look we want to swap our Ethereum for a particular token now if it's not listed here that address which you copied you can simply paste it in there and it should bring up what you have um, if you haven't bought this particular token before it'll bring up the name of that token so I know it's BTAP and let's say I want to buy um, let's just say for argument's sake 3500 tokens Okay, you can see that is what it's going to cost me. If I then click on swap, I haven't done anything yet. It's giving me my details. And when I click on confirm swap, it's going to open my MetaMask wallet. And it's going to give me a breakdown of the fees. Okay, so there it's opening the MetaMask wallet. And it will then tell me exactly what's going on. So it's going to tell me insufficient funds here. Why? Because the gas fee or the transaction fee is $39 so the amount that I want to buy plus the gas fee is going to total 239.29 and I've only got 224 okay so in that case I'm just going to reject I'm going to say dismiss and I'm only going to buy a little okay okay so now I'm popping in that I'm just going to buy 2500 um, that is the estimate I'm going to click then on swap and then I'm going to click on confirm swap and you'll see now it goes back to the MetaMask wallet and you'll see the gas fee is still more or less the same so folks when you do use this the gas fees are pretty high um, just know that for your transactions that's it that is what you're going to look at um, and then your amount plus the gas fee so you're looking at about 150 dollars 140 something dollars um, that it's actually costing and then adding the gas fee to give you that total amount 
um, and you can see okay I've got 224 so that should be fine um, I can actually go and buy that so when I do that then we click on confirm and the transaction is now submitted I can click close and it will sit and it will say pending until the transaction is confirmed right, and there we go we've got the notification that the swap has taken place you can go and view it on etherscan and we can see when we refresh this um, this is basically looking inside our wallet we can see that's the amount of ether we have left and the amount of tokens we have that is going to increase the BTAP uh, we can just have a look here there you can see the balance is 8900 and if I go into my MetaMask I can go and confirm that I have indeed got 8942 BTAP all right, so that's how I've now funded uh, my MetaMask wallet, connected it to Uniswap, and I've swapped my Ethereum tokens for BTAP tokens.